Welcome. My name is Zach. Today's program is brought to you by Well Wellspam Health. Today, Bartlett and Ashley will be talking to us about nutrition. Well, hi Zach. It's so nice to meet you. Like Zach said, we're going to be talking about nutrition and the importance of eating foods that are the colors of the rainbow. Today also helps or happens to be crazy sock after you wearing those crazy socks. I sure am. I have razor mud. I have wrestling socks on. Awesome. And I wear it off my socks. Okay, I turn them off. Okay. And uh, I hope everyone be watching or wearing their crazy socks. Don't forget to take a picture of your, of your crazy of your. Don't forget to take a picture of you participating today and submit it. Uh, thanks so much, Zach, for the uh, introduction and reminder to send everybody their photos of their crazy socks. Thanks. Welcome. So yes, it's Ashley and Barlett, and we are talking about nutrition today and how to eat the rainbow. But before we talk about the rainbow, let's talk about our four fa or five basic fa four or five basic food groups. So the first one is our fruits and vegetables. And we should have at least five servings of fruits and vegetables every day um, because it gives us the nutrition, it gives us some vitamins and our minerals. It also has fiber to make our belly full. So if I tend to eat more vegetables on my plate so that it makes me feel full, and then I don't go for those things like those potato chips or pretzels. Um, protein is also so important for a healthy diet. It's made up of chemical building blocks. They're called amino acids. Um, your body uses these acids to build and repair the muscles and the bones to help make these enzymes. Um, they also are used as an energy source. So it's awesome to eat the proteins um, like your meats and things like that. The next food group is our dairy. Um, and that covers a whole bunch of things. So uh, if you can't have dairy for dietary reasons, there are alternatives for you, but they're all great sources of protein and vitamins. And they have calcium, which is really good to help your bones stay strong. Um, so they also have protein and vitamins um, and some dairy free sources could be like almond milk or soy milk. And I've, always, I've also heard of people drinking goat's milk. I've never had that, so I don't know how that tastes. <laughs> um, and the last one I believe we're going to be talking about is the starch. Um, it's also required to fuel the body and it's a good source of energy. There's whole grain and carbohydrates, which have like essential fiber, calcium, iron, other vitamins, whole grain foods. They normally contain are full of like fiber and nutrients. They take a lot longer for your body to digest, hence why they help um, a little bit longer, um, thus reducing how much food you tend to consume. So some examples of whole grains would be like brown what, brown rice, whole wheat pasta, brown breads, etc. So now that we've heard a little bit about the different food groups, let's chat about what it means to eat a rainbow. The American Heart Association recommends eight or more fruit and vegetable servings each day. Also, variety really does matter. So try to a wide range of fruits and veggies. So we'd like to discuss some of those different colors with you and give you an example of what those fruits and vegetables look like. Right, so if you look at a rainbow, that first color there is kind of like the red or the pinks. Um, and some examples of red or pink foods could be beets or cherries, cranberries, pink grapefruit, pomegranates, and radicchio, which is a kind of lettuce, some radishes, raspberries are delicious, red apples are really good this time of the year, some red grapes, some red peppers if you like that crunch, red potatoes or rhubarbs, strawberries, tomatoes are good, tomato sauce or tomato juice, and watermelon. 
the next color on the rainbow is like the orange and the yellow. So they're in those, there's examples of butternut squash, um, cantaloupe, carrots, the corn. There's also that can be in there. Um, there's melons, mangoes, nectarines, all sorts of oranges, orange juice, papaya. Um, also would be peaches, pineapples, pumpkin, summer squash, sweet potatoes, um, which is also, it, like, there's also yams, yellow apples, yellow peppers, yellow squash. And those are just some examples of orange and yellow uh, fruits and veggies. Yeah. So the next color on our list is the green. And those people know a lot about those green vegetables, um, but there are some different ones that maybe you've not tried, like artichokes or asparagus and avocados and bok choy or broccoli, Brussels sprouts and celery collard greens. I had to eat those when I was a little girl. Uh, cucumbers, uh, green beans or green cabbage, or green grapes, green onions, green peppers, um, kale, just sort of like a spinach, um, kiwi, leeks, limes, mustard greens, okra, another vegetable I had to eat when I was a little girl, pears and peas and roaming lettuce or snow peas. There's some spinach, there's watercress, or the zucchini. The next color on the rainbow is white. So that would be like bananas, um, your cauliflower, garlic. Um, there's also mushrooms, onions, potatoes, and shallots. The other color and the last one is like the blue purplish color which a lot of those are like the blackberries, the blueberries, there's dates, um, eggplants, purple grapes, purple grape juice, plums, prunes, um, purple figs, and then good old raisins. Good old raisins. Mm -hmm. All right, so we went over a whole lot of things and we went over all the colors of the rainbow. Now here is your challenge. We want you to pause this video and we want you to go throughout your house, probably in your kitchen, and find at least one food from each of the colors. So we remember we have red, we have orange, we have yellow, we have green, we have white, and we have blue or purple. Okay, so pause this video and we'll wait for you and come on back when you found all those things. Okay, you're great, you're back, great. Did you find some healthy options? Nice job, way to go. Now the real trick is to actually eat them. It's, it's cool to find them, but you actually have to eat them and, and build them into your daily routine. So you also might be thinking like, well, what else could I eat? You know, I'm a real big snacker myself. So but when you snack, you always wanna try to choose the healthier snacks. So we're gonna give you some examples of what our favorite um, healthy snacks would be. So one of mine is apple with peanut butter or like almond butter on it. Um, I love a good banana. Sometimes I like to put peanut butter on it or that almond butter. Um, I also enjoy nuts as long as you're not allergic to them. So it would be like peanuts, cashews, um, walnuts, almonds, things like that. There's also trail mix. Again, you gotta make sure you're not allergic to any of the ingredients in that trail mix. Um, cheese sticks sugar-free jello, peanut butter crackers, hard-boiled eggs, pepperoni and a cheese stick. That's a good afternoon snack for me because it gives you that little bit extra of the dairy and some of the protein. So these are just some great options to throw into your gym bag and you're ready to go. So don't forget to hydrate. So here's a little tip. The clearer the Liquid, the better it is for you. So grab that bottle of water over the bottle of like diet soda or iced tea. Um, remember, again, the clearer the liquid, the better it is for you. Wow, what a great tip. Thanks, Ashley. All right, guys, thanks so much for joining us and letting us share with you how you can eat a healthier rainbow in your food choices. Uh, now, again, I said it's really great that you found them, but the real challenge comes in how many days will you be able to remember to eat that rainbow? 
So in your packet of information, we, we included a little chart. You can document how many days you ate all the colors of the rainbow, and it's just good, a, a good accountability um, tool for you. Thanks guys so much for joining us and um, we had fun. Take care. It was a pleasure. Thank you.